proceed. Um, we're going to open the uh, public hearing for the. Oh, yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will open the public hearing on the uh, Thomas C. Comprehensive Use Plan. Is there anybody that wishes to comment or speak in the public hearing regarding the Comprehensive Use Plan? Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Are are either of you here for the comprehensive use plan? Comment on that? Okay. Because we're right right in the middle of having the public hearing for that. And I want to make sure if you got anything to say, you were heard. We're just gonna listen. Okay, well that's good. Alright. Um, hearing from no one, we will uh, adjourn the meeting, the public meeting for the uh, comprehensive use plan. And we will, um, I will move that. You have the resolution, right? Do I have it? Okay. Do you need the resolution? Do you want the resolution now or do you want me to do all the resolutions? It's up to you. Let's see. You want to do, yeah, we can do all that. That's easier, isn't it? All right. Well, we'll go right into the regular meeting then. Okay, we'll adjourn the conference review plan. We'll go into the regular meeting for June 9th. Uh, call the meeting to order. Um, Y'all get a copy of the minutes? Minutes, minutes? May I have a motion to approve the minutes? I make a motion. I have a motion and second. a second. I have a motion and a second. All good. All right. All right. Is there anybody from the public that would like to speak uh, in public session uh, with uh, any subject for the town board to hear? Any comments at all? Okay. Mr. Favreau is not with us tonight. Mr. Lemon. Uh, we've got all our roadside garbage all picked up now. We're all done with that. You guys are almost done their first round of mowing roadsides. That'll be done. We started ditching again today. We've been replacing driveway culverts and fixing driveways. Dick Carpenter do that fix his because when he put the water lines in, it was all messed up. We fix that. Our sweeping's all done. So, back to getting everything ready to be ready to paint. Get the roads ready. What roads are we doing this year? Have you decided yet? Trombley Lane. We do Trombley Lane from Route 9 to Rada Road. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to do, I would see how much is left over in the end. I'd like to do the dirt section from 9 down to, uh, what's the second place down? Uh, uh, Rovers. Rovers. Yeah. Rovers yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Right out of our turnaround. It's always a big hassle trying to blow that in the winter that dirt road. So we can at least pave for there. And uh, Slauson Road from Ashley to Fisk. And we're doing a section of Esther. That's good enough. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. good. And that money comes from the chips? The chips and I got some money in construction yeah. too. But mainly chips. Yeah. Great. Anything else? Uh, we know that it's been raining, been hauling sand, so we're pretty good shape in there. We already got to start on our sand, too. So. <laughs> got a lot of that. Yeah, pretty much it for me. All right. <laughs> Council discussion items. We'll start with Mr. Vestra. Do you have any? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have anything. Mr. Dina. I have a couple of things. Um, first, the garage door looks good. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. it was sinking. It was in. Um, and you had said last meeting something about Ambit. Um, you contacted them. Did that all get worked out with the rates, or we? Here's where we're at with that. It it appears to be worked out, but we still have a couple of questions. And it's early yet. I haven't even called uh, this person, but we have we have talked to Ambit, 
and it looks like that issue is straightened out about halfway, but we still have some questions. We're not sure how this building works exactly still. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we're getting what we the right rate mm -hmm. for, for exactly. the right rate for okay. contract for. So we still have to talk to them. I also talked to uh, Willie Drew last week, and I got a name of a person who escapes me right now. I don't remember his name. Willett? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's Willett. And he is an energy consultant. And he will come out and look at energy use mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. He gets paid. I don't know how he gets paid. I guess from the... I think, do they work for NYSE? So no, I think he's his own. No. Yeah, I'm saying, okay. oh, okay. I haven't spoken to him yet. I just got the name. And uh, so I thought that I would call him and have him come out and take a look at what we're doing. And mm -hmm. maybe he would have some suggestions. And we could go, go from there. So before I went, say, back to Ambit, because we're... Fairly satisfied. Mm -hmm. but, so before I go back, I want to make sure that what we have and what we might do, and then talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. So we're working, we're working through it still. So. Okay. <coughs> and I assume I think you're going to give an update on the banks. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And the dollar store. You know, <coughs> I can give you an overview of what is. Overview of yeah. what? Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, do that. And I have no update on the playground equipment. I sent another email to um, the playground equipment from the West Jersey School. All right. I have not heard that. Update. Anybody yet? Okay. Well, so we can't make them respond to you. So. All right. Uh, will you continue to work? Uh, oh yeah, I definitely okay. will. Yeah. All right. Um, and I only have one other comment. Um, we kind of got slammed, or those of us that weren't at the parade on the judge's stand yes. the paper. Um, and I think it was an unfair statement for the entire board, not knowing the situations of who wasn't there from, uh, I think it was Mrs. Tebow, wrote an article in the paper saying that sh we should be ashamed of ourselves, those of us that were not the parade on the judge's stand. I personally was out of town. Um, my daughter came home from Australia, so she didn't plan her trip to disrespect the veterans, neither did I. So, in my defense, that's why I wasn't there. I didn't but, see that article. Well, it was directed directly at the town board, and everybody should consider that when they vote next time. It was a letter to me. Wow. I, I called. My family. Yes. <laughs> first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I called and left the... Uh, uh, left and I had let Mark know as well. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be there. Mm -hmm. I sent you a message. Yes, you absolutely did. Mm -hmm. So, but that's it. Okay. Well, I like you. I had family visiting. And, you know. All right. Um, my turn. I can find what I need. Okay. This is an offer time. Okay. Uh, one of the issues we had talked about before um, was our um, consolidated funding application grant for wastewater that we were working with uh, Liz Tedford. And just to let you know that the uh, application uh, grant form has been completed and it was forwarded today uh, for consideration. Uh, we work closely with Liz on this and we're hopeful that we can be awarded uh, the total grant would be $30,000. Um, they are going to decide relatively soon, I think in August or September, or something like that, or maybe September, October. Um, so we should know fairly quickly uh, whether we receive that or not. Now, as part of that, you may remember we talked earlier that there's a 20% uh, matching fee that we have, which is about $7,500 that we would be responsible for should we get that grant. However, um, part of that, seven, or all of that $7,500, I believe, we could use, we could do um, with uh, matching matching funds to employee labor, um, vehicles, equipment, those kinds of things. So if we get the grant, the $30,000, then we will sit down and see <coughs> what we can do to mitigate that $7,500 down that we would be responsible for. Um, there's really nothing for us to do right now but to kind of sit and wait and uh, see what see what we hear. So um, we'll be able to take that and use uh, uh, 
preliminary engineer, get a preliminary engineering report and see these areas and suggestions that they have uh, to help us out. Mm -hmm. I got a good feeling from her. She was very knowledgeable. Yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. She yeah. was very easy to work for. Yeah. She knew what she was talking about. Yeah, yeah. And she was here, so we're just waiting. Um, banking. We've been talking about that for a couple of meetings, and um, as I reported to you over the last couple of meetings, uh, the banking rules have changed significantly, and our current bank has told us that for us to continue our current financial activity and keep the same number of accounts to do exactly what we're doing right now, that we would incur uh, fees of twelve to thirteen thousand dollars per year. Now that starts, that's effective July 1st, so we don't have a whole lot of time. But we've been working on it for a couple of months. Um, as I say, we've met with a couple of banks to try to mitigate this large unbudgeted for fee, because mm -hmm. we don't have a budget. Right? Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's uh, a considerable amount of money. So uh, Phil and Sue and I have met and talked and looked at account activities and talked to banks and attorneys and everybody else we could think of that uh, could put some uh, light on this. And we've, uh, uh, we've come to a recommendation for you to consider tonight um, as to what bank we should use. And our opinion is that TV Bank uh, that has a branch right here in Shea Z will provide us with, ex with exactly what we need uh, to, uh, to operate the town in the manner that we need to. And there's basically four reasons uh, why we selected TD. The first one is that um, there will be no fees. So instead of incurring fees of 12, what, 12, let me put that another way. Our EIC, our earned income credit that we get, basically interest on our money that we have in there, the EIC, will pay for whatever fees that we may have there. So they have told us that we will not get a bill for twelve or thirteen thousand dollars. With it just down the road uh, from here, uh, we'll save a lot of time and expense traveling um, either up to Champlain or Plattsburgh or wherever because the other branches are farther away. And they are open on Saturdays, which helps us especially during tax time because instead of, instead of having to drive again on Saturdays, we'll be able to deposit uh, it right there. And then um, while we will be paying for checks, there will be a fee for checks, as I said earlier, we won't be having this travel time that mounts up with everybody running to the bank. So I'm not telling you it would be a wash, but if you think it will be close. The expense of travel. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Phil. And then uh, we may even be, we're going to look at, we may be able to consolidate a couple of checking accounts. So that would help us as well. Maybe we can consolidate two or three. And so we have a resolution uh, for you to consider later on when we do the resolutions. And I'd really like to uh, mention that, that Phil and Sue work really hard on this. And it's not an easy topic to fight your way through. So I, I think we're, uh, I think, I know they did a good job and I think we're gonna be fine on this and I think we're gonna save quite a bit of money for the town in fees. So if you have any questions on that, I'd be happy to answer them. We'll have a resolution on that. Thank you, Thank you. Sue just went through it a couple years ago when we switched from the team. For the same reasons, really. And now they're, and now they, they're the better deal. Well, it's because of Basil? B-A-S-A-L-3, Basil. Uh -huh. it's, it's kind of turned things around. And it's got to do with the size of your bank. So they are so. smaller? So that TV benefits are bigger? Bigger. bigger. They're bigger, so it, yeah. it benefits mm -hmm. With their, with What I gathered out of this, and we really talked quite a bit about it, is they're offering us point zero four five percent for the earned income credit which as Mark said will offset the fees based on the deposit balances mm -hmm. that we have now and they guaranteed us that through 14 and 15. Now no one can forget and they were very honest he yeah. was very honest mm -hmm. with it this uh, Ryan Ball from TD Bank you can't tell what's going to happen in the future but even if fees were to go up with the optimism the economy will improve that 0.45% figure 
will also rise, which would help to offset mm -hmm. higher increased speeds. So there are no guarantees, but we've got it for 14 and 15. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's it. That. Any other questions? <clears throat> Another cost-saving uh, recommendation we have for you tonight is, you may also remember that for a couple of meetings we've talked about uh, propane service. Mm -hmm. And um, we've, again, Phil and Sue and I, uh, have checked out um, various propane suppliers. And uh, we estimate that if you accept our uh, resolution tonight, that we'll be able to save about $2,600 in propane costs. I talked to you about pricing before, but you may remember that uh, our current prices are $3.31 a gallon for propane, and the current price for where we're going to go, perhaps, with your approval, is $1.97. So we, we use about, yes, we use about 2,000 gallons of propane a year. We have four separate sites. So if you do the math on that, it's, it figures out to about $2,500 uh, that we can save. Um, I think it's the way to go. As I say, we have a resolution for you. So and it'll be with Adirondack Energy. What are we using propane for presently? The generators at? No, no uh, your, well, there's a 500-gallon tank at water, okay. um, which helps run that facility. There's two 500-gallon tanks that sewer, which obviously runs that facility, and then there's one 500 gallon, which is specifically basically for the generator, right? Sure. Yeah, at the garage. At the highway garage. Now, is that state price? No. No. And I, I know you've been talking about that yes. before. We have, we have, I actually have a letter right here um, from Adirondack guaranteeing us this price that is 10 cents over the state contract price. The, re the reason we didn't choose the state contract price is that if we pick that, we're in danger of being locked in for a couple of years to this price. They can change suppliers in, in the meantime. Mm -hmm. So then we have, the, as I say, we have four sites. We have to get locks. We've got to change tanks. If you multiply it out at 10 cents over, at, at the most 10 cents, All right. um, then we're only going to save about $200 in a year's worth of Seuss time running around trying to straighten this out every time. It's <laughs> worth more than that. So it's 10 cents a gallon cheaper, but it doesn't really, I don't believe that it makes any sense right. for us to do that. We have the flexibility mm -hmm. and we don't have the tank problems. We've got to move the tanks, change tanks, we've got keys, we've got all these other issues. So. We think that's the best way to go. Um, my next item, I just received this this morning, I think, and I don't believe y'all have a chance to look at it. So you find it. Did you copy this? No. Okay. So you have one. Thank you. I, uh, as I say, I received this um, this morning, and it's a request from the residents of Rushford Drive, uh, unsigned, uh, regarding a zoning issue. And I'll give you time uh, to read this. request the town to amend the zoning codes to limit uh, clauses restricting moorings to one mooring per lot. Um, I think the way that we can best handle this as, as a board is that we, uh, rec I would recommend that we send this to the zoning board and let them read this and let them uh, make their recommendations and then see uh, of which is the best way to proceed. 
So I would I will take this and with your approval I will send this down, send this to the zoning board. Okay? I think that's a good idea. That's yeah. They found a way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have um, we have a uh, resolution for your um, consideration. Is our assessor Pat Ayers um, is going to attend a continuing education class on July on June 24th and 25th, which is just around the corner. The cost is $150 plus mileage. And as I say, we have a resolution for your consideration. Um, as you know, these continuing education requirements are, are required. Mm -hmm. uh, so. mm -hmm. As I say, we have a resolution for that later. Any questions on that? Parks. Um, for the Sheezy Park down here, we have um, a total of six picnic tables missing. Five of them are from the uh, back pavilion, and one is from the front pavilion. The, as the West Sheezy Park, uh, the roof had been vandalized. We fixed that, Dave Lucas fixed that, and the mirrors in both bathrooms at the West Easy Park um, have been smashed. I have brought this to the attention of the New York State Police, mm -hmm. and they assured me that they would increase patrols in the area. My recommendation is that we do not replace these six picnic tables this year, you know, I, there's no budget for it. I don't have a budget for it. Um, and then in the next budget year, we can decide what we want to do and how we may want to handle that differently. Um, my other recommendation is I talked to Councillor Dino earlier, and uh, I, he recommended that we lock these bathrooms unless we have somebody that comes forward and says they want to use it for some purpose, and then we can give them the key and they can get in there. So I'm going to recommend to Dave Luke uh, tomorrow, or as soon as I see him, that uh, we lock those. Mm -hmm. And then we will can, can consider uh, putting a porta potty in there. I'll have to check the price on that. I don't think it's We usually much. put one every year, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's down on the other end near the ball fields right. where they play soccer and baseball. Yeah. So we can look um, into that. Mm -hmm. That's usually sure. something we do every year anyway, but I, <clears throat> I see no need in leaving those unlocked 24 hours a day, if, you know, right. begging for them is to go in. Is it possible that, um, I believe Tom Lott and overseeing Shane Z, is it possible that somebody borrowed them, got permission to borrow the things? Uh, sure, anything's possible, them? yes. Have we checked with Tom I to would, see well, we, if maybe? We shall, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see. I, I don't think that's the case, but I will check with Tom. Is it good to be back right now? <laughs> One thing, yes. But the RO problem is we don't know when they were taken. I mean, they could have been taken this winter. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. But I will check the top. So what's the remedy for that? Do we have to start chaining them now? Well, that's, I think we might have to consider that. That's rather sad. Yes, because I know people used to come and they borrow and mm -hmm. use them and they always bring them back. Mm -hmm. and as far as I know, it's never been an issue. Never? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm never going to have to Six have wandered off now, so I don't want to tell you. But I'll check with Tom and we'll see what we can do, and then when we put the budget together, uh, we'll see. My last item is just basically informational. Um, I'm trying to. I'm looking to fill some vacant positions on the Zoning Board of Appeals and the Board of uh, Assessment Review. I have two vacant positions for the Zone of uh, for the Zoning Board of Appeals. I have one vacant position for the Board of Assessment Review, but I may have somebody that's interested in that. However, if anybody has any recommendations or you see anybody, have them get a hold of me, and uh, I'd be happy to talk to them. But I may have one for the for the VAR. So, any suggestions or volunteers for the Zoning Board of Appeals and the Board of Assessment Review, we would be pleased to hear from you. Um, and that's all I have. Some resolutions we received. We have this comprehensive land resolution 
It's, uh, it was written by uh, Mr. Fabro's office. I received it today. You all should have a copy of it. It's pretty straightforward. I don't believe there's too much bad for that. I'll make a motion. I'll second I have a motion in a second. Any discussion? I'm sorry? Any discussion? No, I'm just reading it right now, so if I have any discussion. <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> Any discussion? Okay. Um, Mr. Fabro, you're going to read it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you. Are there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Roll call vote. Councillor Dino? Yes. Councillor Devon? Yes. Councillor Vesco? Yes. Supervisor Henry. Yes. And the next resolution has to do with uh, Pat Air attending the course agriculture issues facing tax assessors. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Oh. Any discussion? All in favor? Roll call vote. Oh, sorry. Let's do this. Mine. Mine. Cost. Okay. Might as well do them all. Then. I'm never going to get this right again. Yeah. <laughs> Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes, sir. Okay, now we start with one of five resolutions dealing with TD Bank. The first one is the authorization to change from TD Bank to TD Bank. I'll make a motion. Second. I'll make a motion to the second. Any discussion? Dan, second, right? Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes. Resolution authorizing the execution of depository collateral agreement with TD Bank. I'll make the motion. Second. I'll second. Discussion? Roll call. Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. Supervisor Henry. Yes. And the next one is the authorization for town officials to sign the checks. We have on that Supervisor Henry, Deputy Supervisor Dino, Town Secretary Susan Patino, myself, and we also have the two justices for the Shazy Justice Courts, which are Christopher Lattimore and Carolyn Misek Pratt. I have a motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? A second. A motion, a second. Any discussion? Roll call Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes, sir. Next one is resolution authorizing wire transfer service payment and cash management services, the master agreement with TD Bank. And this is, we have very few wire transfers, but this is very important. So that, this resolution is required for that as well. I'll make a motion. Make a motion, yes. Second. <coughs> Any discussion? Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes. And the next resolution is a resolution authorizing TD Bank to be the business slash public entity depository for the town of Shazy. I'll make a motion. A motion may I have a second. A second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes. Uh, we have uh, some budget transfers for um, this month. We have one for propane gas before it is Um, Who did I go with? I don't know if that was in here. No, That's okay. here. no I have it. I just didn't include it in the. Uh, this one is up there. Uh, no, right. that's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if it's in here somewhere. I hope. Excuse me. Here you go. Here you go, though. It's here, right there. No, I have it. Yeah, there it is. Sorry about that. No, I'm glad you're... Okay, let's do the propane. Propane, this is to change 
to Adirondack Energy as was discussed. I'll make a motion. I have a motion. I have a second. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Council Dino. Yes. Council Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes. Okay, now we have the budget transfers <laughs> for uh, this abstract period. There were four. I'll make a motion. Motion. I have a second. I'll second. A motion, a second. Any discussion? No discussion. Roll call vote. Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes. And last but not least, our payment of claims for abstract number six and mounting to the total of sixty-five thousand two hundred and fifty-nine dollars and thirty-two cents. I'll make a motion. A motion and a second. A second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Councilor Dino. Yes. Councilor Devon. Yes. Councilor Vesco. Yes. And Supervisor Henry. Yes. That's what I have. Vote. Oh, yes, thank you. I forgot that. Uh, Dollar General, I attended the planning board meeting the other night just as an observer. And I'm a member of the planning board and I listened to a presentation at the uh, architect meeting. And the planning board had um, questions, as, as they should, about the project itself. The, as I understand it, the Dollar General leases the land and the stores from a developer. Um, they buy the land, they build the stores, and then Dollar General leases um, from this developer. They spent a considerable amount of time trying to find the correct property for them. Uh, they selected a piece of property here within the hamlet of Shazee. The, some of the questions that were asked by the planning board were where the sign would go, how big in square feet the project is, how much land it will take up, uh, water concerns, water runoff in the parking lot, uh, lighting, uh, parking, um, and a myriad of other things. And at this point, the architect was just getting input feedback from the planning board. Uh, he doesn't have any plans yet, he doesn't have anything uh, drafted. So, once he has the input from the planning board, which he does, his next step will be to the zoning board. And that will be, their next meeting is sometime in July, but I don't believe they schedule it yet. So I, don't, I can't give you a date as to when that's going to be. But he will go to the zoning board and discuss these zoning issues with the zoning board. Once these issues are worked out one way or another to the satisfaction of the zoning board, then the architect will draft um, um, architectural drawings on how this is all going to work and look. He will then come back to the planning board, make another presentation to the planning board, um, and show them what he has and how they solve the issues of the planning board. And then at some point the planning board will also make a decision on whether the project will go forward. And then of course if, if they do, uh, it, it can go one direction. If not, it can go in another. Uh, that would be, I believe, in Article 78 um, hearing that they can appeal on that. And that's where they're at right now. That's pretty much what I know. Is that currently in a uh, commercial area? Commercial zone? I'm sorry? Commercial residential. Is that commercial zone right there? Yes, commercial residential. Oh, okay. Well, yes, it's cool. Yes. So, and again, and these are all the things that the zoning board will look at and make some decision. Any other questions? Okay. Next meeting is here, right? Here. I took one other thing. Yes, sir. That, Mark, I think it should be good information if you could maybe explain that people are watching the process of that we are pretty much hands off. At this point, those yes. Things, but I, if you can maybe just go over that, if people are watching sure. this, I will. how the process goes with the planning board and zoning board, that it's not in the town board's lap. No, not not, a, no. not now or... No, or I don't, I don't... I, I they, mean, they make recommendations exactly. to us, but it, I don't know if you can explain that. A a, well, I will. If people are watching that, 
I will try to that think that we make the decision or no, we do right. not. Which is Go, Mr. Dyer. <laughs> why we have <laughs> we we the board um, over many years have appointed uh, people to the planning board and appointed people to the zoning board. The job of the planning board is exactly as I stated earlier. They are going to look at this and make sure and uh, make suggestions, make sure this fits our comprehensive land use policy. Would be one thing they would look at to ensure it fits for that. And the planning board is appointed by the town board to make these type of decisions. The zoning board also has input as to the fits zoning, commercial, residential, the size of the project, or the size of the lot, and all those issues that the zoning boards deal with. Again, the town board has appointed representatives to the zoning board to decide those issues. This project will be decided by the zoning board and the planning board, whatever their decision is. Now, after that, there's legal ramifications, and I wouldn't even attempt to go into those, but they are handled through an Article 78 proceeding that goes to court and is decided by a judge. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. I, I don't want to say I don't see any scenario, but I don't see any scenario where it comes to the board to decide what's to be done. They make recommendations to us. Yes. We, yes. we appoint them for a reason. Yes. Exactly. Right. Yes. So. All right, because I don't think a lot of people understand. They think that we they think it's our make the decision, right. you know, yes or no, and it's not that simple. Right. No, we won't. At that level, and we, we appoint them for a reason. No, we don't have anything to decide on the zoning or the planning at some point. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is that clear? Okay. Our next meeting is July fourteenth. Um, what? I don't know if you want to say anything. Oh, um, two quick things. Um, June 12th is the absolute deadline for, for people that are delinquent and paying their taxes mm -hmm. to be able to keep their homes. And with the change in the law, that has been very, very good. Uh, we're down to less than 70 parcels throughout the county. Usually there's between 75 and 80. But in this year, we changed the law last year to allow them, once the sign goes up, they have X amount of days to come in and, and pay their taxes. The only problem is this year, instead of only having to pay two, they've had to pay the four, 14s also, which is a good thing. You know, I know it's tough when you fall behind, but we've made changes, so now they are actually current and up-to-date, the people that have come in. But on June 12th, no matter what happens, it's either cash, uh, bank check, or credit card, but it's gotta be in the treasurer's office. It can't be, it's in the mail, or I'll see it tomorrow. That's the last day. Uh, the other thing is, Sales tax is a little over $100,000 ahead of projections. We had been running behind. Um, July, we will be caught up again, and that will give us the true picture. January is when we were we noticed that we were down because that they, they make us whole on those quarters. So in July, we will know for sure where we stand. But after the last finance meeting, the treasurer is comfortable that we are going to meet projections for the year. Um, we're only halfway through. so. I would be cautiously optimistic about that, but, but at least we are on the plus side, we're not on the negative side. Uh, that's what I've got. Bids are going out uh, for the airport expansion. Um, in the end of the month, they'll be out. So, um, but other than that, if you have any questions of me, um, fire away if not. Thanks. Any further comment? All right, we'll try this again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Heidi, do you have anything? Not other than the resolution you already passed. Okay. We have that. Yes. I'm not asking anybody again. <laughs> <laughs> he said 45 minutes. I did. Exactly. That's exactly what I said. I want to, make, I want to hit our deadline. <laughs> the next meeting will be July 14th, 2014, right here in this room. I would ask for a motion. So May I have a second? Yes. Any discussion? No,